All right, so I'm going to show you how to do a black and white photo. Um, it all depends on what you're trying to get out of it. You know, um, some people do higher contrast black and whites. Other people do uh, darker darks. Uh, but for this photo in particular, I really want to get the uh, texture in his hair and the nice patterns work very well, always in black and white. So I already duplicated the layer. All you have to do is go to Image, Adjustments, and Channel Mixer. Go to Monochrome. I want to adjust uh, the lighting a bit, so I go to my adjustment layer here at the bottom and select Curves. I usually start in the middle here, and uh, that gets the mids, and then down here gets the darks. And let's see here, we'll go up the top and boost out the brights. You can kind of see it helps push out that texture a little bit more in his face. And then, um, literally, I mean, you can, you can count this as done. But as added little touches, uh, I like to add just a few things to push things out a bit more. So I'm just going to merge those layers and duplicate this. Go to Filter, Other, and High Pass. And it's really starting, it kind of outlines all these highlights and stuff. So we want to do about 17.3 is good. And then as this layer is selected, go to nor or I'm sorry, go to your layer blending options and select overlay. Now this is a little too much. Uh, all we have to do is select the opacity and tone it down just a little bit. So when I shut that on and off, you can kind of see it sharpens things up a bit. And then as a final touch, I'm just gonna merge these two layers again. Duplicate that, and then I'm going to add just a, a little light vignette. So you want to go to your marquee tool, you press M for a shortcut, or your marquee is up in here. You want the square, just kind of move it over in this region a little bit. I'm not going to do a perfectly centered one, I'm going to do a little off-centered one, change it a little bit. Put more focus on his expression. Um, I'm going to right-click. Important, you want to add a feather. This is a large image, so 250 pixels will work out just fine. And then we want to right-click one more time. Select inverse. Now it's selecting everything in here and not what was in here. And all you have to do is go to image, adjustment, brightness, contrast, and it's gonna, it's going to create a little bit of a vignette there for you. However you like, however, you know, just gotta mess with it and depending on how dark you want your edges.